Yellowstone's supervolcano is one of the most active spots on Earth's surface, and the last time it erupted was 640,000 years ago. But since we don't have a crystal ball, experts can only guess when it might blow again. The thing is, they believe it will happen sooner or later, and while Yellowstone is far from the only supervolcano in the world, it is the largest. So what if the next eruption isn't Yellowstone? Are there other equally dangerous supervolcanoes out there? You're watching this channel. Join me today as we look beyond Yellowstone and ask, are these supervolcanoes next to erupt? Let's start with the basics. What makes a volcano a supervolcano? It all has to do with their magma chambers. See, most volcanoes are stratovolcanoes, towering cones formed from layers of lava and ash. They get their magma from deep within the planet, and as that magma rises, it collects in a magma chamber just below the volcano. When the pressure in the chamber becomes greater than the strength of the surrounding rocks, the result is an eruption. Now, this happens at all different timescales depending on the volcano. Some erupt every few years, others can go hundreds or even thousands of years between eruptions, but no matter how often they blow, unless they're constantly erupting, stratovolcanoes have a finite amount of magma in their chambers. And when the chamber is empty, the volcano is dormant. Now that's all well and good, but what makes a volcano a supervolcano? Well, that comes down to the size of their magma chamber. In particular, we're talking about magma chambers that are big enough to hold more than 1,000 cubic kilometers of magma. For comparison, Mount Estein Helens, which erupted in 1980, had a magma chamber that held about 35 cubic kilometers of magma. That's small potatoes compared to a supervolcano. And with those massive magma chambers comes massive eruptions. Scientists measure the explosiveness of volcanic eruptions using the Volcanic Explosivity Index, or VEI. The index ranges from 1 to 8, with 8 being the most explosive, and supervolcanoes typically have VIs of 7 or 8. For context, Mount St. Helens's eruption had a VEI of 5. So now that we know what we're dealing with, let's talk about Yellowstone. Located in the northwest corner of the United States, Yellowstone is widely known as the world's most famous supervolcano. Its massive caldera stretches for about 43 by 28 miles, making it wider than Yellowstone National Park itself. In fact, the park encompasses most of the volcano, and because it's such a large area, there are multiple places where steam and hot water can escape from the magma chamber. For example, in 1985, a series of earthquakes near Norris Geyser Basin led to the formation of a new geyser called Steamboat. Steamboat went through a very active phase during the mid-1980s, regularly erupting dozens of times per week. However, its activity dropped significantly in the late 1990s, and it hasn't been nearly as active in recent decades. But Yellowstone isn't just notable for its size or its geothermal features. The sheer number of its past eruptions is also staggering. Scientists have identified 24 separate eruption sites within the greater Yellowstone region. But the most recent super-eruption at Yellowstone the one we've all been waiting for, occurred about 640,000 years ago. This mega-event unleashed an estimated 2,500 cubic kilometers of ash and pumice. To put that into perspective, Mount Pinatubo's eruption in the Philippines in 1991 ejected about 5 cubic kilometers of material. Meanwhile, Yellowstone's biggest eruption ever was about 2 million years ago. It spewed an estimated 1,700 cubic kilometers of ash and rock. With these kinds of numbers, it's no surprise that the supervolcano's future eruptions are so hotly debated. So when will it blow again? Well, according to the U.S. Geological Survey, there is a 1 in 730,000 chance of a super-eruption in the next 30 years. While some researchers disagree with these findings, including some who claim that Yellowstone is actually entering a period of dormancy, the risk of eruption remains. But the chances of a super-eruption outside of Yellowstone are even higher. Let's take a look at our first contender, La Garita Caldera in Colorado. La Garita is the largest known caldera in North America, and the second largest in the world. It's located in the San Juan Mountains in south-central Colorado, about 50 miles north of the New Mexico border. 
But unlike Yellowstone, La Garita isn't just one single volcano. In fact, it's home to 40 cinder cones and lava domes. And like Yellowstone, the entire area is dotted with hot springs and geysers. Unfortunately for those hoping to see a once-in-a-lifetime eruption, La Garita's last eruption happened 27 million years ago. As far as scientists can tell, the event was extremely violent. It had a VEI of 8 and ejected 5,000 cubic kilometers of ash and pumice. In other words, La Garita blew up three times the size of Yellowstone's most recent eruption. It's this eruption along with the sheer size of the caldera that led scientists to designate La Garita as a supervolcano in 1995. But whether or not it will blow again any time soon is still up for debate. Our next volcano is actually a pair of volcanoes. Mount Toba in Indonesia sits on the island of Sumatra, about 110 miles off the west coast. Like La Garita, Mount Toba consists of two calderas and is also considered a potentially active supervolcano. But unlike La Garita, Mount Toba is much more active. In fact, the volcano had a major eruption in 1994 that left 243 people dead and forced more than 20,000 to evacuate. There have been smaller eruptions since then, but Mount Toba's most recent major eruption was 74,000 years ago. This eruption had a VEI of 7 and sent about 2,800 cubic kilometers of ash and rock into the air. The ash spread over a large portion of Southeast Asia and eventually spread around the entire globe. While it's uncertain when or if Mount Toba will blow again, there are signs that it may be getting ready to blow. In 2019, the country's Center for Volcanology and Geological Hazard Mitigation raised Mount Toba's alert level after seismic activity increased. Because of this, the local government established an exclusion zone around the volcano. Residents living within five miles of the volcano were relocated, and those living within 12 miles were told to be on standby in case an evacuation order was issued. Our final supervolcano, Campi Flegri in Italy, is considered the most dangerous volcano in the world. Sitting just 12 miles from Naples, Campi Flegri is an extremely active volcanic area, consisting of multiple overlapping calderas. Like Yellowstone, it's home to several geothermal features, including steaming fumaroles, bubbling mud pools, and even a small lake. While there are smaller craters within the Campi Flegri volcanic complex, the largest is the caldera of the Neapolitan Yellow Tuff. This caldera formed in a massive eruption about 39,000 years ago that ejected 37 cubic kilometers of material. It's this eruption, along with the proximity to a major population center, that makes Campi Flegri so dangerous. According to estimates from the European Mediterranean Seismological Center, about 3 million people live within 62 miles of the volcano. About 250,000 of them live even closer within 31 miles. And many of those people are completely unaware of the danger they're in. Despite the potential disaster that could strike, Campi Flegri has been inhabited for centuries. In fact, excavations have revealed evidence of human activity dating back to the Bronze Age, and the area has remained densely populated ever since. Because of this, scientists have worked hard to monitor the volcano. In 2012, the Italian government created the National Institute of Geophysics and Volcanology to keep watch over Campi Flegri and other potentially active volcanoes in the country. But despite these efforts, the volcano remains unpredictable, and in 2018, scientists reported that seismic activity had increased. Since then, the Italian authorities have maintained a close watch on the volcano. Yellowstone may be the most famous supervolcano in the world, but it's definitely not the only one. From La Garita to Toba to Campi Flegri, there are plenty of supervolcanoes that could blow up and cause serious damage. And while scientists have made great strides in monitoring these volcanoes, we still have a lot to learn. Fortunately, these volcanoes are mostly found in remote areas or unpopulated regions of the world. If they did blow up, the death toll wouldn't be nearly as high as if they were located somewhere like California or Japan. And if we continue to learn more about these volcanoes, we may someday be able to predict when they'll blow and even find ways to stop them. Speaking of which, I wonder if there's any way to stop a supervolcano from erupting. 
Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And be sure to subscribe and follow my channel. Thanks for watching. See you next time.